Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Woe Davey. We are coming to you live from SeaWorld Orlando and we're just gonna walk around the park for a few hours and see if we can find any props for Hollow Scream. They are doing Hollow Scream here at SeaWorld Orlando. Yes, I said that, Hollow Scream for the first time. So we're gonna walk around, see if we can do any Hollow Scream updates and see if we can see any haunted houses, any props, anything like that. So let's check it out. So here's our first Hollow Scream signage in the park that I saw. Starts on September 10th and runs all the way until Halloween. So let's see if we can find any more Hallow Scream stuff. So it's not Hallow Scream, but they got some uh, decorations for the beer festival going on. Here's the first one, the Walking Center. It's closed up right now, but yeah, they got, let's see, they got all kinds of uh, stuff going on. To the health and safety of all of our guests. And of course, they still got electric ocean going on too. So it's uh, beginning, well, it's the middle of August and all the kiddos are back in school and it's on Monday. And as you can see behind me, there's no one here. So coming to the parks on a weekday is the way to do it. Hardly anybody at all at the park. Of course, if you come on the weekend, it's gonna be really, really busy. But yeah, come on a Monday, a Tuesday, a Wednesday and you will avoid most of the crowds. Of course, over in that stadium, that's where a lot of people will sit there at night and watch the Electric Ocean show, which is amazing. I'll definitely put the link to our Electric Ocean review. Uh, put the link down below. And then right next to that, we got Icebreaker, which is pretty much a launch coaster, just like Tigers over at Busch Gardens. But of course, it's a uh, longer length, much more track and I have no clue when they are going to open it. I see a train on the tracks over there, but I don't know when this thing is gonna open up. So this long pathway right over here by Icebreaker, it gets really dark at night. There's a lot of big trees, a lot of open space. I think this could be a possible scare zone. Don't see any props out here. We're right next to uh, the Orca Stadium, but yeah, this could be a possible scare zone there's lots and lots of open space here to set up props and like i said it gets dark and there's a lot of areas in sea world where they have a lot of big trees and darkness so there's i don't know they can put a scare zone anywhere really also this big area right in front of the icebreaker area and the sesame street area of the park Lots of open area for a scare zone, possibly. So the construction walls are down, and here is the entrance to the new Icebreaker roller coaster. Looks pretty nice. I like it. Can't wait for this thing to open. Okay, I think we just ran into our first potential prop for Hollow Scream. Right up there. So I'm thinking that way will probably be a scare zone, and then of course we got this prop right here which looks really really spooky and creepy definitely here for hollow scream yeah nice setup yeah right across from the pond right in front of mako i'm almost willing to bet that's for sure going to be a scare zone because that has the most trees big nice oak trees and it gets very dark over there so if that's not a scare zone i'm gonna be very surprised but anyway, right here, we got another big prop. Yeah, this is so creepy, I love it. Can't wait to jump in the tree. Right over by Infinity Falls. They got this big, creepy house. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think we're gonna get very wet. I'm waiting for it. Besides my shorts, but not that one. Oh my god. They had a little bit of a leak there. 
Oh no. Oh, now we're going way up here. Oh my god. Which way do we go? Oh, this way. Finished Infinity Falls and it was so much fun and we are soaked. Soaking wet. But yeah, you guys have to ride this ride. So much fun. Hallow Scream signs up in here. I love it. Looks really, really cool in here. I think this is like a restaurant, householder lounge area. So here's another prop. So I was just saying earlier in the video that I'd be upset if this wasn't a scare zone. And sure enough, as you can see, as you can see, this is definitely going to be a big scare zone because we got props. And it's so dark over here at night. It's gonna be so cool. Ooh, what's behind the door? SeaWorld Orlando Hollow Scream signage coming soon. We will be here opening weekend. This is gonna be a little scare zone here. We got some little platform, I guess, for people to stand on. What happened? No, because the park is so dead. Quick queue, you don't need quick queue today, definitely, guys. Anyway, here's another big prop here. So I guess it's gonna be an area where people are gonna get scared. I don't see any props over here, but this could be another possible scare zone. It's very big, lots of trees, gets very dark over here as well in the nighttime. But yeah, look at the crowd level, guys. There's like no one here. You have to come to SeaWorld in the theme parks during the week. The weekdays are dead. There ain't nobody here. I'm almost positive this area, Antarctica, section of the park will be a big scare zone. If it's not, this is definitely where one of the haunted houses are going to be based on the teaser trailers they put out. Guys, this part of SeaWorld is usually very, very packed. I would compare this to like the Harry Potter section at Universal. There's usually so many people here. You can barely walk. And as you can see, there ain't nobody here. It's so empty today. I think we picked a really good day to come out to uh, SeaWorld, don't you think? Huh? We picked a good day to come to SeaWorld, right? Oh yeah, there's nobody here. Nobody here. We, own this we had quick queues and we... We were on SeaWorld. <laughs> we didn't even have to use the quick queues. Maybe over off to the left of Journey to Atlantis, there'll be a scare zone over by what? Turbo Track and Key West area. There's a lot of uh, open pathways over there. So maybe there's a scare zone over that way. Thanks guys for tuning in for another episode of Low Davey. We're leaving SeaWorld Orlando. I hope you enjoyed the Hallow Scream updates. There was not that many props, but at least we saw a little bit. 
and at least we got to ride Infinity Falls for the first time. That was really, really fun, and we got wet. We will be here in two weeks for the opening of Hallow Scream, so stay tuned because we will be vlogging the event, and we are very, very excited. It's the first time SeaWorld has ever done Hallow Scream, so we are excited. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends and family. Until next time. Oh, <laughs>